I'm sure you all know that Papa John's founder, John Schneider, resigns after spending almost 34 years as the chairman and founder of Papa John's since 1984. He stepped down due to saying the N-word during a conference call. Uh, you, yeah, you know John Schneider, the same guy when you seen the uh, Papa John's commercial saying the slogan, Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Yeah, that guy. Uh, it seems like Papa John's was going downhill anyways due to the sales slump. And Schneider slammed the NFL for poor leadership all because of the players' national anthem, national anthem protest crap where the players are kneeing down on one knee during the national anthem. I'm disappointed in him since I love Papa John's. Now people who are against racism and calling black people the N-word, majority of the black, white, Asian, Colombian people, etc. will possibly no longer bother getting Papa John's pizza. Some people probably don't care for Papa John's pizza and don't give a darn about the founder resigning anyways. Some people will probably still get Papa John's pizza, despite what Schneider says. They're probably like, hey, screw him for using the N-word, but I still enjoy Papa John's pizza. Then Schneider had the nerve to say that, well, Colonel Sanders, the KFC icon, said the N-word, and he didn't get any blacklash. And then he also says that he was pressured to say the N-word because of the agency. Why is the agency pressuring you to say the N-word? And just because they're pressuring you doesn't mean you got to say the N-word, dude. S seriously? Anyways, are you serious? About him saying that Colonel Sanders did the same thing, so why not me? Listen, Colonel Sanders built his franchise in the South during the Jim Crow era. Former Kentucky Gov John Brown Jr., who continued working with the colonel after buying KFC, said he never heard him make any racist comment. Also, an author named Josh Ozersky wrote in his book, Colonel Sanders in the American Dream, that Sanders did say the N-word, but it was the word Negro. Okay, he didn't say N-I-G-G-E-R like John Schneider. Sanders said Negro until Sanders was informed by some well-meaning people that the term had become offensive. And he stopped saying that ever since. So it sounds like Colonel Sanders was not a racist. Plus, there was no social media during his era anyways. So that's probably why he didn't get any backlash, uh, Mr. John Snader. I mean, Colonel Sanders was born in 1890, and he died on December 16, 1980, at the age of 90, due to pneumonia and leukemia. You, John Snader, have to deal with the social media, especially saying the N-word during a conference call. Who does that, man? And even if Colonel Sanders were to have said the N-I-G-G-E-R instead of Negro, that doesn't mean it's okay for you to say it or anybody else. Who the hell do you think you are? Okay, who do you think you are, man? Talking about the agency pressure him to say the N-word. Whatever, dude. And, of course, he apologized. But my thing is, is your apology real? Are you really sorry? Or are you just saying that because it came out and obviously people aren't happy so you feel like you just need to, even though you said what you meant. I mean, that's what some of these celebrities or whatever people do in general sometimes. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Tell me your thoughts on uh, John Snader resigning from uh, Papa John's and him saying the N-word during a conference call. And will you still go to Papa John's pizza despite what the man said? Or... Tell me if you didn't care for Papa John's pizza, and if so, why, and what pizza joints do you think are much better than Papa John's pizza, in your opinion? Alright, that's it, see ya.